The competition to construct the world's inaugural one-kilometer structure is once again gaining momentum following Saudi Arabia's declaration of recommencing construction on the Jeddah Tower, Dubai has also disclosed the resumption of work on their Dubai Creek Tower. However, there's a twist. The developers have revealed plans to overhaul the entire structure. What modifications have been made? And what is the process for erecting a skyscraper of such colossal height? In today's video, we've devised our unique design to address these inquiries. We'll delve deeper into that later on. Let's begin by examining the progress of the Dubai Creek Tower up to the present moment. The venture was initially unveiled in 2016 with aspirations of claiming the title of the world's tallest human-made structure. Initially proposed to reach a height of at least 1,300 meters, it aimed to surpass Dubai's iconic Burj Khalifa, the current tallest building globally. Furthermore, it was poised to potentially outstrip its competitor, the Jeddah Tower, which to the best of public knowledge, stands at just over 1,000 meters. Despite facing a complete halt in 2020, substantial work was actually accomplished on-site. MAR Properties, the developer, successfully completed the tower's foundations merely two years after commencing construction. However, progress on the primary structure itself remained at a standstill even after this initial achievement. Reports from that time suggested that EMAR Properties was still in the process of securing a contractor for the project, leading to unavoidable delays. Ultimately, due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, construction on the Dubai Creek Tower came to an indefinite suspension. Notably, all references to the project were removed from the developer's website during this period, sparking speculation about the potential abandonment. The construction of this iconic tower encountered a significant pause, sparking speculation and doubts about the tower's future and whether it would ever reach completion. The pandemic not only brought work to a standstill, but also shifted global priority, casting a shadow of uncertainty over numerous ambitious projects. Dubai Creek Tower, caught in this whirlwind, patiently awaited its opportunity to rise again. Despite the challenges, the spirit of the project remained unwavering. The delay was viewed as a temporary setback in the grand scheme of things, and the vision for Dubai Creek Tower remained clear and robust, a beacon of hope and ambition poised for the right moment to resume its journey toward the heavens, as the world slowly began to recover and adapt to the new normal. Whispers of resumption circulated, reigniting excitement around this monumental project, Dubai Creek Tower, with its promise of architectural wonder and innovation, stood ready to continue. How does the tower balance its ambitious goals, like other promising monuments dreamed of in the UAA? Dubai Creek Tower is more than just a building. Its strategic location in Dubai Creek Harbor, a hub for ecological and luxurious living, was chosen to enhance the city's prestige. After all, the city is renowned for being a luxurious sanctuary, a collaboration between Dubai Holding and Emeir Properties. The project aimed to be a centerpiece in a district designed for thousands of residents and even more entertainment. However, as the pandemic raged on, the tower's future hung in the balance. Would this beacon of architectural brilliance ever see the light of day? Rumors even circulated that the tower might never be completed. Designed by the esteemed Spanish-Swiss architect Santiago Calatrava, Dubai Creek Tower's fate remained uncertain. While the destiny of the tower remained uncertain, the adjacent Dubai Creek Harbor appeared to progress as intended. This development is an upscale, novel district situated in the historic Dubai Creek. The tower serves as the focal point of the commanding views of the harbor to the west, offering impressive panoramas of both downtown Dubai and the iconic Burj Al Khalifa. Despite the entirety of the development still being a considerable distance from completion, a brief visit to Imar Properties' website reveals the substantial progress achieved as of this year five. Situated northwest of the tower's site, is an artificial island known simply as Creek Island. This waterfront area has already become home to a diverse array of opulent hotels, apartments, and restaurants. Some noteworthy establishments on the island include a five-star waterfront hotel, 8880 Perth Marina Yacht Club, 9, 
and a man-made beach and lagoon. In its entirety, the Creek Harbor development, upon reaching completion, will cover an area approximately twice the size of downtown Dubai 2. It is designed to accommodate up to 200,000 permanent residents and cater to tens of thousands of tourists simultaneously. If successful, Dubai Creek Harbor is poised to emerge as one of the city's primary districts for business, tourism, and luxury. To delve into this question further, we generated our own modified rendition of the Dubai Creek Tower. It's important to note that this depiction does not represent the actual appearance of the Dubai Creek Tower but serves to elucidate the process involved in designing a skyscraper. The primary concern in constructing a building, especially one exceeding one kilometer in height, is ensuring its stability. Generally, as the tower's height increases, so do the wind forces exerted upon it, rendering the construction more challenging and expensive as it ascends. To guarantee that our design could withstand the demands of standing 1,000 meters above the ground, we integrated several stability-enhancing techniques. Commencing at the base, we incorporated a three-axis foundation reminiscent of that used for the Burj Khalifa. This triangular footprint not only provides a distinctive and iconic aesthetic characteristic of the city, but it also contributes to stability. Historical evidence indicates that such a foundation reduces the impact of wind forces on the structure thereby enhancing stability. This type of foundation acts like three independent legs, collaboratively supporting the rest of the building and distributing the weight evenly between the three corners, as opposed to relying on a single central point. Another notable feature is the sleek and tapering exterior, coupled with strategically positioned notches and setbacks throughout the middle. This design ensures that the lower sections of the tower can adequately bear the weight of the structure as it ascends. The tapering shape also mitigates the impact of wind forces on the main structure, while the notches and setbacks allow wind currents to pass through the skyscraper effectively. It appears that construction is poised to recommence next year, promising to attract significant international attention as one of the most captivating skyscraper projects currently underway. With the nearby Jeddah Tower also resuming construction, the competition to erect the world's inaugural one-kilometer structure is officially rekindled. We're eager to hear your thoughts on our unique concept. What are your impressions and what modifications would you suggest? Share your insights in the comments section below. If you're interested in delving into more details about the Jeddah Tower, check out this video. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.